So this right here is the second sheet I ever made right here, right? So I'm gonna condition it here. And I'm going to put some new rivets in it, right? Because I was putting old rivets. I was putting the other rivets in these here and they they weren't turning out. I was using double cap rivets in these and they just weren't holding, right? I, I pulled on it really hard, as hard as I could, and one of them broke. I mean, I, I'm not sure how long they would last, so I'm not gonna make, I'm not gonna put the double cap rivets in my sheets. I've been using tubular rivets, so I, I'm gonna put some tubular rivets in this one right here. And I'm gonna use this one for the next month or so. See, the, the dye is already bleeding through on it. See, the dye just bled through on that. See that right there? Right there. Look at that. Look at how much it dyed. Look at that. Actually, no, it's not, it's not dyed through. It's just the stain. It's the, uh, the conditioner it makes it really dark makes it really dark look at that beautiful comes out really dark look at that i'll work this leather here make sure sure don't break the holes on it because it's still pretty dry because i wasn't able to condition this one all the way in the center there that's before i was conditioning my this is my, only my second sheath so i didn't really have the right tools to condition the leather with but I'll just work it in there work that condition in there it should lighten up a little bit here you know the more I use it the more I work this leather and the more I put my tool in this this sheath here the, the lighter it will get right look at that beautiful man and I'm not gonna stain I'm not gonna stain those back portions there even though the uh, it'll look kind of funky with the tuber rivets because on um, the tuber rivets will not cover up those non stained parts but I've already stained it already or I've already conditioned it already after I dyed it the first time and I can't really dye it a second time after I condition it because the oil is already in there. It just doesn't take very good. The dye doesn't take very good if you've um, conditioned it already, if you have oil in the leather. It's got to be pretty clean leather to be dyeing. So I'll just work this in there too. I'll go real easy with it because it's kind of dry. Right. And I suggest you do this too. Get some oil for the sheath. You know, if you do buy one of my sheaths, get some oil for it and oil it every six months. You know, just rub some oil on it, you know, get some oil on the inside of the, the pouch there or just soak it, soak it and then, um, it's got to be dry. It's got to be dry when you oil it, right? And clean, you got to clean it first, let it dry out and then oil the leather, all right? You can't condition leather when it's wet or dirty, right? Because you don't want to work that the conditioner into the leather or when, when it's dirty because that dirt will go into the leather fibers and it'll just become brittle even faster. So I'm going to rivet this real quick here. Set some um, tubular rivet, rivets in it instead of those double cap rivets, right? Look at how perfect those holes are, man. They line up just perfect. My first um, template was right on the button, but it was very tough 
to get that template to work because um, it was just too narrow. All right. It's hard to explain why it was too narrow, but um, the holes didn't really line up very good. Um, I'll show you here. Take this. I have 40, 40 sheets in there ready to bevel the edges and dye. Dye the edges and then I'll be done with those. Those will be done. Those will be out the door. Right there. So this is my original sheath, man. This is one of my original sheaths, man, that I made. I'm just trying to refurbish it, right? Put some different rivets in it. Put these tubular rivets that'll last forever in there. Right? Beautiful. Let's see if I can do it this way here. Snap right in there, look at that. Beautiful. Just like so. Awesome. Stain. You can see the stain marks where I've missed the stain out, but that's fine. Awesome, man. Look at how soft this leather is. Because I've used it already, right? It softens leather once you use it. If you buy one of my sheets, it'll be kind of stiff at first, you know, the first few hours it'll be pretty stiff all right because it's leather the more you work leather the better it gets oh there goes a rivet inside the crevice So this is my original design. Oh, I gotta get that rivet in there straight. Beautiful. This is my first design had straight, straight, um, a line of straight rivets on there and my second design i moved those rivets up so they're curved just looks a little bit more pleasing i mean literally i can only have i can use just three rivets on the top here and three on the sides on each side and it would hold forever it just looks better with five rivets on the side and four on the top just for some reason i thought it looked a little bit better look at these holes line up just perfect in here Oh, beautiful. There we go. Beautiful. Come on, get in there. This is my second ever sheet that I made, and I'm just reconditioning it. I'm putting better rivets in it. That's all I'm doing. And I conditioned it too. So this is a whole work over, right? Whole work over, man. New rivets. Conditioned it better. I got some conditioner inside the sheet there. Softened the leather up. 
Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I gotta burnish the edges too. But I, I need to burnish those edges on those 40 sheaths there too. And dye the edges, but there we go. It doesn't have my buffalo stamp in it. I should have probably done that before. Before I put that top plate on, but hindsight's 2020, right? But I want to keep that the same um, as my original version, you know. That's pretty cool. You know, I just refurbished my first sheath ever. <laughs> I don't think I'll have to refurbish any of my other sheaths because they're pretty heavy duty and the design is a lot better than that sheath there. Um, the pocket nearly isn't nearly as big. Um, with that one right there, the hand digger wants to kind of flop around a little bit. And uh, when it flops around a little bit, it it's harder on the leather because um, when you shove your your uh, your hand digger in there, um, it can hurt the leather um, if you throw it in there too hard. So you want a little bit tighter pouch. You don't want a huge pouch on there um, for the hand digger because the pouch the hand digger uh, you know drops in there really hard um, on this edge right here that's where most of the use on this hand digger is just right here because your hand digger sets in there on the sheath here and um, this this edge right here has a lot of, of working working stress on it too because it's always bending right there right but they won't break you know it's good leather and I'll think I'll use that one I might even carve it no, I'm not going to change it. I'm going to use that one for the next year, I guess. I'm going to use that one for the next year. See how that goes. Well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.